Hi everybody, it's Kristen and happy Topic Tuesday to you. For Topic Tuesday today, I'm going to give some answers to your questions. So I decided after I had filmed videos already for the week, <laughs> that I was going to, because um, I don't, I, for some reason I didn't plan ahead on this one, that I was going to do a Q&A. So I decided to throw it on Instagram. And then if you guys have other questions, you can go ahead and list them below here for those of you that aren't on Instagram. And I'll do another one at some point in time. So I'm going, I, I it just went to the very top of the questions on Instagram. I have my phone here and I'm just going to go through them. I'm not, I didn't put them in any order. The, when I've done this in the past, I do have two kind of get to know me relatively long videos that I will list below that I did a few years back. Um, and so I will list those below if you want to go check those out. There might be some more answers to your questions in those videos. So first of all, and this is from Amy Bat Pat. If you could only use one palette for the rest of your life, which one would you pick? So I'm not sure if she meant one that I had kind of put together or like one that you just buy, go and buy as a palette. So I have two answers to this question. If it's one that I just have in my collection and I have to pick this and this is what I'm going to use for the rest of my life, it's hands down Camp Cosmetics, all their singles, which look like this. The This is just perfect for me. These are neutrals. They wear like iron, they're just amazing. So if I'm picking one that is, you know, like with singles, shadows, that's what I'm picking. If I'm picking one that is, you can go into a store and purchase all in one thing, it's the Naked Palette, the original Naked Palette. I still love this one best. You can get so many looks in this one. There's a lot of warms, which I like. I, I just, there's my answer. I'm gonna try not to be too wordy so I can get through a lot of these questions. Okay. Um, Monster Alex said, not a question about your vlogs, make me want to visit Wisco to escape from the busy city life. All the best. Alex, come visit anytime. You are more than welcome. The next one is, what made you decide to start, wait, what made you decide to start making YouTube videos? You know, I think that there are a couple of reasons. One, I just loved the community so much that I saw. And I was really encouraged by a couple of friends. I've said this before, really, um, Heidi from Jalapena 2007, she doesn't make videos anymore, but her and then Lisa from Lisa SEO and I were very, very encouraging to me. Um, I started making them because I felt like they were starting to fill kind of an age bracket that was missing in the YouTube community. And I just felt like I had things to share and I want, I love, I just wanted to share and be part of the community. So. That's why I started doing it. And I have not looked back and I have enjoyed every minute of it. Okay, um, what are your favorite dry skin products in makeup and skincare? So in skincare, what I've been using for over a year is is the Camp line. So probably the like the milk cleanser is a was a life changer for me. And then um, both the moisturizer, which I use Illume and the eye tonic, these have been game changers, <laughs> literal, game changers for me. And then in makeup, I, I think that there, there are a couple of things that make a difference. I'm going to grab this as well. So I think a dry skin girl's best friend is MAC Fix Plus. I, I just think this, it will fix a whole multitude of evils. <laughs> if your face is looking dry, powdery, that sort of thing, this is, Fix Plus is really, really good. I know that throughout the there's a bunch of questions on my favorite foundations. So, um, one of my favorite foundations for dry skin, if you don't need a ton of coverage, is, and I've mentioned this before, this is my, I think, second or third of these. You can see, probably, I've used down to about here of this. This is the Bobbi Brown Skin Foundation. This is just nice evening, adds a little hydration, really, really like that. For a little more full coverage, the Dior Skin is very, very nice. Um, the Rouge Bunny Rouge Time Defying Age, wait, let me just get it right, Time Defying Foundation. Um, I am in the shade Quinoa Cream, number 52. So those are some really, really good dry skin foundations. And again, this is just, I, I wouldn't, I won't be without MAC Fix Plus. I, I just feel like it does not make great things for my skin. Um, if you could use one brand, if you could only use one brand to use for a month, what would it be high-end and drugstore? Um, drugstore, I guess I would have to make do with CoverGirl. <laughs> I wouldn't be happy about it, but I love the CoverGirl mascara. There are CoverGirl foundations that I like. I can work with the eyeshadows the CoverGirl has. I mean, I, I would, I wouldn't love it, but I could work with it. And I don't have very many. I don't think I have any blushes, but but if if I had to, I probably could. Do, I would prefer to do, use a combination of CoverGirl and Maybelline. Let's just say that. And then. Um, 
high end, I'm assuming you mean like super luxury brand, probably Guerlain. I think Guerlain probably. Okay, I'm always curious as to what you do for work. I know you were, oh, <clears throat> you know what, I forgot, I forgot to be saying who gave these questions. The Grease Paint Glamour was what, what made you decide to start making YouTube videos. Um, Tyler Elise asked about the skincare. And then Jesse Pop 2356 asked about high end and drugstore. Okay. Um, Lindsay Beth 92 says, I'm always curious to know what you do for work. I know you work in corporate and probably won't say the company um, you work for, rightfully so, but I'd love to know what you do. So I am uh, I am in sales. I do a little bit of marketing as well. I can tell you that it's an, uh, an industrial um, manufacturing facility and I work directly with distributors. Hopefully that that's that's that tells you enough but I, I do go to office every day we are a little more laid back these days which is really nice as far as what we can wear and that sort of thing <laughs> you hear me talk about that on my vlog channel if you watch my vlog channel um, okay <clears throat> MKM 997470 is there a YouTube beauty guru you'd like to meet in person and if so whom Wingas hello <laughs> he's hysterical I just <laughs> I just think we'd have such a good time I I don't know <laughs> By the way, there's, there were 103 questions. 103. I had no idea I would get that many questions. So I will I will continue these down the line if you want to see more of them. Um, who would you play in a movie? I'm not sure what that means. Like, who would I play in a movie? I, I don't know. Um, that was Kay Dobiecki? Who would I play in a movie? Like in a movie that's out, who would I replace and play them? I'm not really sure. I'm not sure what that means. But I do get that I look like Melissa McCarthy a lot. So, um, Jamaica HA says, who are some of your favorite YouTubers? So that's always really hard for me because um, I watch so many beauty YouTubers. I think I have like 170 subscriptions or something like that. So I think I'll just, what I will do is kind of choose a different genre and I will talk about um, the vloggers that I like to watch. And so I was... I have to think about that for a minute. So the vloggers that I watch regularly are um, Joe and Laura Vitale, who you guys know that, that we are friends with, and um, the Shermans, the Sherman Show. I don't know. They don't know me. <laughs> I just really get a kick out of them. Um, and I th is that really all that I watch? No, I used to watch more, and I kind of cut down. So let's just say probably those are my favorite vloggers. Um, I used to watch the Shaytards, but I don't... I, I guess I just don't anymore. Sometimes when I when I get really busy with, with things and get behind on YouTube, you know, those are the kind of things that I have to give up. But anyway, so the Shermans and the Fatalities are my, fa <laughs> my favorite vloggers. What are your music interests? Favorite, favorite artists? Sorry, that's not beauty related. Favorite YouTubers? To watch. Okay, well, I answered that. And this is um, from Natalie Diaries. Oh, no, that's a lie. That is a lie. It's from Dana K1. Um, I love all kinds of music. I love country music. I love pop. I like classical. Right now, I am obsessed with Walk the Moon. Um, the whole album, not just, I think I talked about that in the favorites video, not just um, the Shut Up and Dance song, but I'll, you know, I'll Walk the Moon. And um, Fun is one of my favorite, favorite groups, as well as A Great Big World. The, those are probably my favorites of, of currently. They're, I just, oh, well, my phone just went dead, sorry. Um, I, I would love to see Fun in concert. I would love to see Great Big World in concert. We don't really get concerts up here. We get some in Green Bay, but anyway. Okay, from Natalie Diaries, if you were on a desert island and only got to pick three pieces of makeup, not skincare, what would you pick? Okay, three pieces of makeup. I'm assuming she... Somebody's going to see me on a desert island? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to think. So, I would do probably mascara, lipstick, and blush. I think that's what I would probably do. So, um, I don't have Tarte Lights Camera Lashes mascara. I don't have one currently, but I just grabbed this as, a, as an example of my mascara. Um, Tom Ford Frantic, Frantic Pink Blush, probably. And that's prob that's just right now. I could change this. In the fall, I would pick something different, but hmm, love that blush. And for lips, I would probably go Viva Glam 5. I don't have it here. I, don't, I, I think I put it in my purse because I'm trying to use it. <laughs> 
but probably MAC Viva Glam 5. I don't know, maybe something brighter than that. You know what? No, I would take MAC Red Balloon. That is what I would take. If you've never seen MAC Red Balloon, here it is. I think they made it permanent now, I'm not positive. But, um, ugh. It's just one of my favorite shades of all time. And that is way more Desert Islandy than than Viva Glam 5. So I'm going with Red Balloon. <laughs> okay. Um, from Gidge1973, who is the Green Bay Packers that, uh, who on the Green Bay Packers is on your hall pass list? <laughs> I'd explain this to Bob when I saw this. Um, I would say probably Aaron Rodgers. Probably Aaron Rodgers. Of teams past, there are probably some on teams past, but if I'm looking at the current team, or Clay Matthews if he would cut his hair. I don't appreciate the really long hair so much, but there you go. <laughs> what is your least favorite beauty trend from past decades? Oh, that was from Natalie Diaries as well. Um, on me, I'm going to go with on me, is when I was used, and I talked about this before, I used to use a bright frosty white right up under my brow bone. Not like a little line underneath, but like a phew. And I mean, it would make my brow bone look like it was out to here. What was I thinking? Um, how often do you go completely without makeup from Yellow Daisy 28? Um, on, on occasion I do. It's difficult for me because sun, Saturday is a lot of times a filming day for me and then Sunday we go to church. So, and I don't go to work without makeup. I, on occasion when I do that, everybody's like, are you sick? What's wrong with you? Are you sick? So I spend half the day explaining that no, I just didn't wear makeup. <laughs> so it does not happen very, very often. Um, when we go camping, I will do very minimal makeup. I still like to have a little something on, but sometimes I go completely no makeup. That it'll happen, but not very often to answer your actual question. Um, how or where do you get your motivation to continue with your weight loss journey? There are a lot of weight loss questions. Um, and I'm going to spend a little bit of time on this. So for those of you that may or may not know, I have had gastric bypass in the past. Um, yes, I have. <laughs> there's lots of discussion about this out there in the interwebs. Yes, I have gained weight since I have had, since I was, I had hit my lowest. Yes, I am working on losing it. That is a personal journey for me. I talk about it here and there on my vlog channel, but just because I make YouTube videos and talk about most things in my life doesn't mean that I want to talk about everything in my life. And so I don't mean that as something nasty. It just means that that is a really big struggle for me. And it has been since seventh grade. It's a struggle. And it's not just... Uh, Again, just because I make YouTube videos doesn't mean that I want to put all of my struggles and everything out there. I will share as much with you as I feel comfortable doing, and as time goes on, maybe there will be more that I want to share, but um, it's a, it is a struggle for me. Food for me is um, emotional. It is um, a comfort. It is a celebration. It's... For some reason, that food has always been a multitude of things for me. So changing your brain from that, maybe in some people it happens in six months. For me, it it's taking years. I, I don't I don't know what to tell you any more than that. Um, how I stay motivated, I guess <clears throat> I just try. I just have to find a way to motivate myself. I want to be around for my nieces and nephews down down the line. Um, I want to be around you know, f as long as I can for, you know, family and friends. And I just, I guess that's my motivation, but I will stumble. I will fall Ag again. I know that I will, but I just, the, I have to pick myself back up and keep going. I, I don't, I guess I don't know what more to say than that. Um, and if I share along the way, I share along the way. And if I don't, I don't. And I just ask, ask you guys to be respectful um, of that. So yeah, that's definitely one of the things that I am judged on the most in the interwebs um, about how I have had gastric bypass and haven't been as successful as others have been on that. But that's that's my struggle. I'm not quite sure how that affects everyone else. I know how it affects me, but I'm not sure why it should affect anybody else. But at any rate, that is that. Okay, Chell Bell 1969 says, how do you cure your craving for sweets. That is a tricky thing for me. During the day at work, I use gum, <laughs> believe it or not. Um, sometimes, at, sometimes I will just do like a handful of chocolate chips. That will work for me. 
um, like semi-sweet chocolate chips. It's dark chocolate, so it's a little bit better. <laughs> but um, for me, actually, it's more the craving to bake. I love to bake. And again, if you, I hate to keep saying this, but if you watch my vlog channel, I know that you guys know this already. Um, I bake and give to friends. So that's how I, I care that. But um, yeah, I kinda, it kind of goes in spurts with what, I, what I'm craving and, and that sort of thing. But I guess I try to do, um, like I said, gum is a good one for me. It's probably like the worst thing to do, but that's what I do. I wear glasses and it seems like every mascara I wear smudges, including waterproof. Any suggestions? This is from Queen Victoria. Truly try the CoverGirl Professional Super Thick Lash. I, it's five dollars. It's in the bot. It's like the bottom shelf of your drugstore. Um, it, it doesn't smudge on me, and I know I've heard from tons of people. Whoops! It doesn't smudge on them as well, or either. So, give that one a shot. Um, Smart Mouth Beauty says, would love to know your number one under eye concealer for dry skin over 40. Okay, so for me, the MAC Pro Longwear. Okay, I just grabbed it. I had I have it put away because I'm trying to work through some other ones. I'm getting all halo-y in the back here again. Um, MAC Pro Longwear for me works the best. Now, not every, other people say that have dry under eyes that it doesn't work for them. For me, this and a beauty blender is a great combination and that for me works well it doesn't I don't get any like creasing or creping I don't even get the where I have to go back after a few minutes and like get it out of my lines and wrinkles it just works really well for me so that that is my answer all right Linda from the Beauty Buzz Puzzle says what is your most favorite lipstick of all time well the most the one with the most longevity is absolutely MAC Viva Glam 5 and I'm I'm sorry that I don't have that here it's in my purse um, but I definitely have enjoyed like brighter shades and that sort so of thing. like the red balloon. I, I really, like I've mentioned earlier, I really enjoy that. But, um, if I'm going with longevity sake, ones that I've repurchased the most would definitely be Mac Viva Glam 5 or Hourglass Whisper. Either one of those. Best foundation for women over 40. How long should a beauty blender last with daily use and proper care? What is the difference between bronzer and contour from Sue Ellen Walters? Okay. That's where I'm going to have to probably stop because so this video is not too long. Um, best foundation for women over 40. Again, that depends a little bit on your what kind of coverage you need and that sort of thing. But any of the ones that I mentioned earlier, I really like. So again, that's... And, and I know that these are all high-end, but they're the ones that I really think are the best. The Dior Skin, um, the Rouge Bunny Rouge, Time to Find or the Bobbi Brown Skin Foundation. I really feel like those are great for women over 40. Um, how long should a beauty blender last with daily use and proper care? I I think that it kind of depends. I tend to replace things maybe sooner than most because I'm a little bit on the, you know how I am with my three months with mascara and that sort of thing, but, um, and I think it's how hard you are on it too, but I would say, I actually don't know what people say. I think I replace mine about every four months. I don't use mine every single day though. So if you use it every single day, maybe three months. Actually, if you have an opinion on this, if you use this every day, I would love to have your opinion below. So help Sue Ellen out and list below what you guys think is, um, is best for that. And what is the difference between bronzer and contour? So bronzers are usually a little bit more warm and you're gonna put them on your face where the sun would normally hit. So kind of the, I'm looking in the viewfinder so I don't poke myself in the eye. So in kind of your three E. So I put mine here and here and a little bit here. And then contour, you want to use something that's a little bit of a cooler shade. Because contour is supposed to show more of like a shadow, look more like a shadow. So make you have cheekbones when you, make you look like you have cheekbones if you don't. I actually have no contour on today, just bronzer. Um, but that you would go, for me anyway, I kind of go right I feel where my cheekbone is and I go right below that and um, kind of angle it up towards the top of my ear and down here. I don't do a lot of nose contouring, though I probably should. Um, but that's for me, that's the difference. So a little bit of a warmer color you want to use for bronzer and a little bit of a cooler tone you want to use for your contour. Hopefully that is helpful. All right, I'm going to stop there. So this is not, I have tons more questions. So I don't know if I should just turn this into a little bit of a series or what. Let me know your thoughts below. If you have other questions, you can let me know those below as well. Normally I answer every question and comment on a video. I probably will not be doing this that for this one since I know there are going to be comments listed below. But if you have um, 
you know, like I said, if, there, if there's something I haven't done, let me know. And I will go back to answering comments on all videos. <laughs> or on all, answering all comments on videos after this one. Just because, like I said, I'm assuming that there'll be more questions in here. And I'll answer them in a video versus in form. Make sense? All right. I will list everything that I have on my face below because I'm sure this is long enough already and I've already gone over it in um, my haul video that was posted a few days ago. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this and I will talk to you very soon. Bye!